Holy Spirit, the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. In a very special way, I would like to welcome all of you. As well, I would like to welcome all our dear friends who follow us through Facebook and YouTube. Today, it's important day because today we celebrate Pentecost. That means 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. is when the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and the 11 disciples who was gathered in the upper rooms. This morning, in a very special way, I would like to pray for Lee, Charlie's brother, who tomorrow he will go to the operation. I will pray to the Lord for him. As well, a very good friend of mine, Michael Hancock, is his best day today. My dear friends, I would like to pray for you this morning. I would like to pray that the Holy Spirit always guide you, protect you, and your family. But as well, I would like to pray for my auntie, Rosario Flamenco, who passed away a week ago. I would like to pray for my cousin Roberto, in these difficult moments. But my dear friends, I would like to pray for all of you. My dear friends, to prepare to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to my our sins.
Almighty God had mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us into everlasting life. By the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your holy church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gift of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, feel now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came round, the Apostles had all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, they all assembled, each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they said, all these men speaking are Galileans? How does it happen that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes and Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, 
region in Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya around Cyrene, as well as visitors from Rome, Jews and proselytes alike, Cretans and the Arabs. We hear them preaching in our own language about the marvels of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your riches. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You take back your spirit, they die returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord unless he is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. There is a variety of gifts, but always the same Spirit. There are all sorts of service to be done, but always to the same Lord working in all sorts of different ways in different people. It is the same God who is working in them all. The particular way in which the Spirit is giving to, given to each person is for a good purpose. Just as a human body, though it is made up of many parts, is a single unit because all these parts, though many, make one body, so it is with Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptised, Jews as well as Greeks, slaves as well as citizens, and one spirit was given to us all to drink. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy Spirit, Lord of light, from the clear celestial height, thy pure beaming radiance give. Come thou, Father of the poor, come with treasures which endure. Come light, thou light of all that live. Thou of all consolers best, thou the soul's delightful guest, dost refreshing peace bestow. Thou in toil art comfort sweet, pleasant coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. Light immortal, light divine, visit thou these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. If thou take thy grace away, nothing pure in man will stay. All his good is turned to ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness pour thy dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. Thou on us who evermore thee confess and thee adore, with thy sevenfold gifts descend. Give us comfort when we die, give us life with thee on high, give us joys that never end. Please stand to greet the gospel. <laughs>
of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of the first day of the week, the door were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hand and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I, I am sending you. After say this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those who sing you forgive, they are forgiven. For those sing you retain, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, that we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, when Christ filled the church with the power of his Spirit and sent it out to the world to bring peace, joy, and forgiveness to all mankind. I say at the very beginning to the Mass, Pentecost means 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. For the Jews, this feast of Pentecost was the second most important feast in the Jewish calendar. It happened seven weeks when the Jewish people come into the temple in thanksgiving and they bring the first fruit of the wheat to the Lord. But the story of Pentecost invited us to reflect about our openness to the Holy Spirit in our own life, but also to put into practice that gift that God gives to each of one of us. Each of one of us, we have a special gift. Every morning in my daily prayer, when I say my prayer, when I put everything and entrusted everything to the Holy Spirit and to God, always I ask a simple question. Holy Spirit, what are you going to do today with me? Holy Spirit, give me just your wisdom. Give me your strength. Give me your knowledge to be able to see you and every single person that I will meet today. The resurrection, the ascension of the Lord, and the feast of Pentecost. When Jesus promised his disciples, 
that he he will live, but he will send the Holy Spirit upon them. Pentecost is a special feast. It's a special day in the Catholic Church because Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit upon the church to continue his mission on earth to preach the good news to all mankind. For me and for all of us, Pentecost is so important because the Holy Spirit is the soul of the church. But my dear parishioners, the church is not that building. We, you and me, we are the church. You and me, we are Jesus' mystical body. And for me, it's an opportunity today in this Feast of Pentecost to reflect in ourselves and with honesty and openness respond to the Holy Spirit. How we administer the church, how well we administer that gift that the Holy Spirit entrusted to us. And I think, two things that we can do. The first thing is to allow to the Holy Spirit to come into our life, to transform us, to make us different. But as well, to do that, we need to allow to the Holy Spirit to empty ourselves, to be filled by His presence. Many people ask me, Father, I never have experience about the Holy Spirit. Have you ever had experience about the Holy Spirit? And I say, Firstly, we need to remind ourselves the Holy Spirit is poor in us the day when we were baptized. It's confirmed in the sacrament of confirmation. But after that, personally, I encounter the Holy Spirit when I have my first retreat and I encounter Jesus. My dear friends, my invitation and in this feast of Pentecost is very simple. We don't need to be afraid to open our heart to the Holy Spirit. We don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be unworthy because the Holy Spirit wants to come, live, in May, home in June. Please stand, and together we profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dying, was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there we will come to just the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
I could like invite the he please come forward to lead us this morning with the prayer of the faithful. As we are filled with the Holy Spirit, let us with confidence present our need to God our Father. That the church, filled with the Spirit of Christ, may be renewed to proclaim the gospel throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the wisdom and strength of the Holy Spirit fill all those entrusted with leading our plenary <coughs> council. We pray to the Lord. Lord that we, who have the Holy Spirit as advocate, may in turn be advocates for the poor, the vulnerable, the forgotten, those who wish to end their lives and the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That our community gathered here in prayer and those who are not able to be here at this time may always be aware of the spirit received in baptism and to be open to allowing our lives to be led by that spirit. We pray to the Lord. 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 That the sick may experience the true presence and healing of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who have died may be purified by the Spirit and share in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord. In very special way, I would like if we can pause for a moment, if we can close our eyes, we ask to the Holy Spirit to kindle the fire of his love in us. In this community of St. Peter the Apostle, that every single member that is belong to this parish, they can experience the presence of the Holy Spirit in so many ways, in each minister, in each group in this Christian community. Lord, hear us. <coughs> Father, as you grant us the continued help of the Holy Spirit, answer our prayer and fill our life with the gift of baptismal grace, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Thank you. 
pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> Grant, we pray, it, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us be saying to the Lord of God, It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow the Holy Spirit today, on whose you made your adopted children, by uniting them to your only begotten Son, this same spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages on the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exulting your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. For this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, light the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread, give you thanks, broke it, gave you to his disciples, saying, Take thee, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will give an art for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one more he gave them. He gave you to his disciples, saying, They did, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathering to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Apple, Timothy, our bishop, Don, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Remember this morning, Lord, your daughter, Rosario Flamenco, our family and friends. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, with the blessed Apostle, Saint Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may his praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. This feast of Pentecost, as this mystical body of Jesus Christ, will sing together the prayer that Jesus taught us. <laughs>
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Say to you, Apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the face of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Before him who take away the sins of the world, blessed us call to the supper of the Lamb. The body and blood of Christ bring us into everlasting life.
Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who bestow heavenly gift upon your church, say, God, we pray the grace you have given us that the gift of the Holy Spirit pour out upon her, may retain all its force, and that is a spiritual food, may gain her abundance or eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Very briefly, I have two good news. The first one, I will continue to live streaming this Mass. This week, at 11 a.m. until Saturday, 6 of June. The second news is the government allowed to have 100 people in our church. For next Saturday and Sunday, we have all four Masses. Saturday, 6 p.m., Sunday, 8.30 a.m., 10 a.m., and 5 p.m. Just I would like to invite my parishioners, or you can be a messenger, to tell them that next weekend we have a hundred people in each mass. We have more than 400 parishioners in our community. But I'm looking forward to see my parishioners again in this place of worship. In a very special way, I would like to thank the choir to sing so beautiful this morning for us. Thank you, Ken, for help in this Mass. Des, thank you for read in this Mass. My dear parishioners, you make me my day because I am able to see you. And next weekend, all my parishioners will continue to make my day because I can see more of my parishioners. For your personal intention, Mary, she was with the 11 disciples. She was there when the Holy Spirit came on Pentecost that day. Mary, help us and teach us to be simple and humble. But she is the bridge who brings us closer to Jesus, the living God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ to love and say the Lord. Thank you for coming, everyone. Have a beautiful day. But just keep in your mind the message for today. You don't need to be afraid to the Holy Spirit to open your heart to the Holy Spirit.